Hello. If you are in this video, uh, probably you are dumb as me because you were looking on your reviews about the new AMD card. It's good and it's really powerful and can do a lot of stuff. And many YouTubers say, oh, it's awesome for streaming, it's awesome for recording. And you buy the card and you try to stream and you understand it's shit. Especially if you want to stream Apex Legends or heavy games like that. And it, it will be shit because uh, AMD encounter, encounter sucks and AMD's uh, management staff for encoding just left and they don't plan to do shit about it. So if you get pixelated streams when you stream, in my case was Apex Legends and also your webcam gets pixelated then don't worry, it's nothing wrong with your graphics card, it's just shit. There is two options, what you can do. One is to buy an NVIDIA card. Second one is to wait for AMD to fix their shit, finally. And yeah, actually there's three options. You could just like skip streaming the games which are intense because the graphic card the raw power of the graphic cards allow allow to like render the shit and stream it good it's just the encoder encoder it's 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 just bad like you can't do anything about it i spent last three days trying to make it good the best i can do and trust me if someone tells you yeah try to turn off your webcam and it will help it's not helping. Uh, lowering resolution is not helping. Changing output scaling is not helping. Your GPU is like more than capable to stream 60 FPS, 1080p, any game you want. It doesn't like have problem with the power. Also, if you like overclock it. So I have tested it a lot, so I know. When I play, for example, Paladins, Fortnite, uh, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, uh, Warzone, the games like that, it streams like so flawless. It's really, actually, really good. The quality is perfect, frames are not dropping, it's, it's, it's perfect. In my case, when I stream Apex Legends, it looks like I'm streaming on, I don't know, 1050 Ti maybe, something worse. It's, it's really bad, especially when it's fast moments. But if you're here, you just want to hear some solutions. So <clears throat> I can say straight away, there is no solution. You can just make it better with a uh, few settings. What I learned uh, going through Google and going through Reddit and spoke, speaking with a bunch of people and looking like many YouTube mm, videos and, and testing it myself with uh, a few viewers in YouTube who helped me get the best settings I could for, for, for streaming and I will share the settings for you also I just want to mention that bit rates and shit like that use recommended settings on your streaming platform don't go above or lower it it, it won't change anything you won't you won't be able to stream like the guys who are streaming with NVD cards who have ending. You just just buy a new card or wait for and call it update. That, that's it. But I will show you like the best settings for me, what I use now. And I have gotten like decent performance, not like super good, but at least everyone can understand what I'm uh, like, see clearly my face and what I'm playing, but still it's not super sharp as it should be. So first thing, settings, uh, in general, I didn't change anything in stream. It's just your average, what, whatever you do. So I, I was streaming in a mixer in a YouTube and it was the same. Uh, it doesn't change. It doesn't matter on which platform you stream. So now I'm, I switched to YouTube and these are the settings for YouTube. So and force streaming service and color settings. That's like, Obvious, you can do it. Rescale, don't use it, you don't need it. Um, presets, 
choose the preset in which platform you're streaming obviously quality because your gpu it can handle quality it can handle everything on the max it's really powerful gpu it's really good just not for streaming <laughs> so that's the set on the quality constant bit rate i have tried all those other uh control meta settings and in one moment latency was latency setting was actually helping but it was for a short period of time so the best is constant bitrate like everyone is saying in every video target bitrate is 6000 i tried from 2500 i uh, went up to 30000 and <laughs> like tested those but it it doesn't change shit actually it doesn't change shit so if you want to get a good stream that everyone can look on your stream even to the phones i would suggest 4000 500 5000 maybe 6000 i haven't get any complaints from my viewers if they can't view my stream but like you have to ask your viewers and if they complain then that's the case if you get the buffering or loading times or your stream kind of kind of resets for someone uh keyframe intervals too and in this page that that's it what i did in video everything on uh, resolution which you play like based reason resolution if you play on 144 put 144 if you play 120 or uh, 720p 1080p just use that resolution and output you just rescale from 1080 or if you stream on mixer or twitch it's uh, 720p that's if you're not a partner you can't get like any higher it doesn't like allow you so it's no use don't scale filtering put the best what you can so now it's first of april 2020 so that's the settings for now maybe it will change when you will be looking this video uh frames per second 60 you can put 30 but come on it's 2020 use 60 and then the really 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 big English is really good. So the really biggest impact on my stream, like not the biggest, but the second biggest, was uh, I had like you ch you take dynamically change bitrate manage blah 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 whatever like this thing. It was like checked all the time when I tried to stream and fix it, and then one guy told me just take it off, and it actually helped me a lot. My quality came up significantly and uh, it looked much better maybe it will help you maybe not but it helped for me so this is all what you have to do in settings uh, next thing what I did for Apex Legends I used filtering not many people know about filtering especially if you're a beginner in a streaming and you just started to use OBS like I did so you probably don't know about filtering and it's actually awesome it it helps your stream look so good just a few clicks so left click on your like source uh, use filters and you can choose like press plus and you can choose from color correction uh, from key crop uh, luma case scaling scrolling cropping you can make many effects on your game or, or the media you're sharing and you can change the colors for your game and most important you can put sharpness up a little bit so when you stream it will look like shit but if you put sharpness on it will like sharpen the game a little bit and it will help it will help a lot like it helped me a lot and the game looks much much better but it still won't remove all the pixels when you play heavy intense games with amd newest 5700 xt card and that's it that's that's basically how how I managed to do that for now I am putting my card on sale I hope someone will buy it and I will be able to buy 2080 super or 2070 super uh, but till then I'm just waiting for AMD to fix their encoder because the card is awesome for game it's it's like it's the beast it's it's the best that you can get for like money low money if you're a budget streamer like i am and and i would like i would be so so happy if a and b could fix this shit it, 
they could pick them older and could encode games really good then like it would be way to go hard for every every streamer that's it i hope i helped you um feel free to ask me questions and comments uh because i'm looking for new settings and new options and new ways how to improve my stream with this bad stream card and um i will definitely share this on this video or make a new video if i find something else so, bye